Welcome to the mat, welcome to my channel, the best place to practice yoga for your body, your mind, and your soul. Today's class is a grounding Ganesha practice to bless new beginnings. Now, it is especially auspicious or favorable as we enter into a new year, but know that you can use this practice anytime you are welcoming a new beginning. Now, let's talk about Ganesha for a moment. He is a well-loved, highly revered, elephant-headed Hindu deity that's called upon for various reasons, but most notably, he's called upon to be the remover of obstacles and to bless new beginnings. He is associated with the Muladhara or root chakra, which represents initiatory energy. And we can turn to Ganesha to offer us strength, structure, and stability as we start new journeys. Now, because he represents initiatory energy, he's especially favorable for us to call upon and work with as we enter into a new year, as we stand at the precipice of a brand new chapter, as we are welcomed into a rite of passage, or as we look at this portal of transformation and opportunity that awaits us. So we will work with a grounding root chakra themed class today on our mats to cultivate that strength, structure, and stability as we enter into the new year. The new year brings a lot of excitement. It often brings angst and uncertainty. And so we want to welcome all of those emotions and experiences while staying grounded, strong, and steady. So that is our aim on the mat, and it's my hope that you take it off the mat and into, new, into your new year. I am gonna recommend that you have two blocks available to support you, and we will begin lying down on our backs. Let's all meet there. Knees bent, feet planted, and walk the feet as wide as your yoga mat for Ardha Shavasana, or constructive rest posture. Feet as wide as the mat, and allow the knees to drape in towards one another. Palms face up towards the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the neck here. <sighs> and just take a moment to connect with the earth plane. Each chakra has an associated element and the Muladhara chakra is connected to the earth element. So it's especially important that we feel a sense of connection and grounding as we begin this practice and enter into this new beginning together. So feel the soles of the feet, feel the back of the pelvis, the sacrum, Feel how the low back pulls away from the earth plane, but then the mid back reconnects. And then the cervical spine pulls away and the back of the skull reconnects here. Final breath to get situated. Beautiful, heel toe the feet together and draw the knees in towards the chest, rock from side to side, massage that lumbar spine region, the low back. Anything to do with the lower portion of the body is especially connected to the root chakra. So for that reason, we'll have a lot of leg, uh, we'll do a lot of leg work today. Beautiful, come to stillness. On an inhale, we'll open the legs up, palms will connect with the earth plane, feet will be activated, and you'll be at a 45 degree angle or one third of your way lower down. On the exhale, you'll draw everything into the chest, bring the nose towards the knees, create a small bundle. Inhale, open, join me when you're ready. Exhale, close.
moving with steadiness, with strength, with stability. There's no rush. Last four. Welcoming this new year and new beginning with a sense of grounding. Last time. Relax the head down. Let the legs fall over to the left for a supine twist. Right arm reaches out from the shoulder socket. Whole breath here. <sighs> Legs back through to center, over to the right. Left arm extends, whole breath here. Knees back through to center, in towards the chest. Start rocking forward and back or come onto your side. We'll meet in a forward fold, Uttanasana, at the top of the mat. If you're rocking forward and back, you'll need to create quite a bit of momentum here. Beautiful. Forward fold, allow the whole torso to drape over the tops of the thighs. Head and neck are releasing towards the earth plane. Both feet are firmly rooted. Maybe even the hands are rooted. The knees are bent to help assist in that. You can sway the head from side to side. Taking smooth, steady breaths and then roll the body up, stack the vertebra, welcoming this new year, this new beginning with the energy of Ganesha, blessing this new chapter that's ahead. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold towards this new chapter, this new opportunity. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Find those blocks if you have them, please. Place them on either side of the feet and step the right foot back for runner's lunge. If you have those blocks, you can position them underneath both hands to bring the earth plane closer to you and then firmly push down through this left leg send the left hip back in space you'll notice that the right hip hinges forward when you do that the right knee is lifting towards the ceiling right heel reaching towards the ceiling and there's length from that back right heel all the way through the crown of the head Last breath. Soften that right knee down, coming into a low lunge. Option to bring the blocks to the highest setting now and really push down through the fingertips as you lift up through the torso here. Lower body firm, supporting you, being that foundation so that the upper body can extend and expand just like we want to operate in the new year. And as we start any new beginning, we have a solid foundation beneath us, supporting us, grounding us so we can extend and expand into whatever it is we are beginning. Last breath. Reach those hips back for Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. The hips align over the back knee here. You can lower the blocks if you're using them. Draw the left hip especially back as the torso reaches towards the front toes.
Last breath, enjoy it. Bend back into that front knee, carry the blocks with you, curl the back toes under. Again, meet me in a runner's lunge. This time, right hand will stay down. Press the right hand firmly into the block or the mat. Heel toe the left foot just a little bit out as you open the left arm towards the ceiling. Back leg is strong. Rib cage is expanding up towards the sky here. Gaze is possibly tracking towards the left thumb. Saying yes to this new chapter, feeling excited for what awaits us and the potentiality that exists as we bless these new beginnings. Gaze down, bring both hands down to the mat, please. Set the blocks off to the side for a moment. Step to the top of the mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Hmm. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Listen carefully on an inhale, come into Ukatasana. And for some added stability, you can place a block between the thighs here. Inhale, weight back in the heels, sweep the arms high, lengthen through the sides of the waist here. Four breaths. Squeeze that block if you've got it, rotate the armpits towards the heart, last two. Inhale, straighten the leg, stand all the way up. Remove that block, actually hold on to the block, why not? Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. And now set those blocks back up if you were using them and step the left foot back, please. Runner's lunge. Right knee over the ankle, right hip shifting back, left knee towards the ceiling, length from the left heel all the way through the crown of the head here. Embodying strength, structure, and stability here. Creating a container that's conducive for initiatory energy to take up space and flourish. Soften that left knee, coming into Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Again, positioning your blocks to support you if you're using them. Roll that left pinky edge toe down, push the earth plane away. Gazing out in front of you with steadiness, with ease. I know the new year can bring pressure, right? It pressurizes what's already pressurized. Our very full lives that are often very full because of our thoughts and emotions that are taking up quite a bit of space as well as our roles and responsibilities. Shift the hips back for Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. You're flexing the right toes towards the face, stacking the hip over the knee, and we're taking four breaths here, lengthening out through the crown of the head. So our lives are already full, right? It's a combination of roles, responsibilities, goals, dreams, as well as our thoughts and emotions that are taking up real estate. And so our yoga practice, especially ones where we're connecting with these holistic elements like Ganesha can help us clear the way to be excited about the opportunities that lie ahead to shift our perspective around them. Last breath here.
bend that front leg once again, bring the blocks with you, curl the back toe under, step to the top of the mat, please, and ragdoll hang for a moment if you've got the blocks. Rest your forearms there. Last breath. Set the blocks off to the side. Step back, downward facing dog, Adumukha Svanasana. First one in the practice today. And it will be the last one. So let's really enjoy it. Ground down through the palms of the hands. Really firmly press down through the pointer and the thumb. Firm the forearms. Wrap the armpits towards the heart. Biceps in line with the ears. Let the chest reach back towards the tops of the thighs here. Sacrum widening as it reaches high. A few more breaths, possibly bicycling the legs. Enjoying how your body feels in this posture. Enjoying the solidity that the earth plane beneath us provides here. And then begin to walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Widen the feet for yogi squat. If you would like to add a block beneath your bum, opportunity to do so. Otherwise, toes out, heels in and settle down. Elbows to the interior of the thighs, palms firmly pressed together. Lift up through the sternum, spread across the collarbone here. Four breaths. Blessing these new beginnings. Last two. Last one. Beautiful, hands down, lift the hips high, heel toe the feet, and simply bend and straighten the legs here, work out any tension, and you'll meet me on the ground in a seated position, legs long in front of you. If you've got a blanket, sit on the very edge of that. You can also roll up the back of the mat to provide support for the pelvis here. Dandasana staff pose. This is a posture that looks deceivingly easy, but I want you to flex the feet back towards the face, activate the legs, feel them turn on and solidify. Push the hands down into the mat or a blanket. Lift all the way up through the central channel of the body. Feel the shoulders roll back and gaze forward. Four breaths here. I'm already starting to tremble. Beautiful, reach the arms high, coming into Paschimottanasana now, really lengthen through the sides of the waist, and then exhale to fold over yourself. Invitation to bend the knees, I love bending the knees here, and really reaching my armpits over top the knees to create a connection. You can do the more traditional variation with the legs straight. Bring the hands wherever they reach, tops of the shins, the yoga mat, maybe peace fingers around big toes. I like to hold the pinky edge side of my feet here and continue to lengthen through the spinal column. Let's take four breaths. Each breath widening and massaging and soothing the lower back.
Next inhale, lift the gaze, walk the torso back upright, bring the fingertips behind the body, bend both knees and windshield wipe the legs from side to side, please. And then walk the feet in and wrap the arms around the thighs here. Maybe you can connect the palms with opposite elbows and fold the head down, giving yourself a hug, providing the stability that we all need as we enter into uncertainty. Slowly lift the head and meet me in a seated posture. We'll chant gum, the bija mantra for Ganesha. Gum, spelled G-A-M, but pronounced like chewing gum. And as we chant, I want you to drop your awareness down into the base of the spine where the muladhara chakra resides. If you'd like to layer in the mudra, listen to my instructions. Interlace all of the fingers, extend the middle finger straight up, both of them connect, wrap the index fingers around the middle finger and slide them down, and then connect both thumbs side by side, also reaching upwards, as if you're creating an elephant trunk here. And then roll the shoulders back and down, let this mudra, this hand gesture, for Ganesha that provides protection and blessings for new beginnings to rest here in front of the sternum. One minute together chanting gum, 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 gum. Gum, 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 gum. Bring the mantra internally now. Continue to chant it for 30 more seconds. Last three repetitions. Release the mudra, bring the hands into prayer. You can chant with me or simply listen. Om Gam Ganapata E Namaha Om Gam Ganapata E Namaha Om Gam Ganapata E Namaha Last time Om Gam Ganapata E Namaha Salutations to Lord Ganesha. May you protect and bless these new beginnings as we enter into a new year together. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. Gradually open the eyes. 
Hmm. What a beautiful way to, beautiful and bountiful way to bless this new year, to protect these new beginnings, and to give us the reminder that strength, structure, and stability will help us feel a sense of ease and enjoyment as we step into uncertainty and into new opportunities. Thank you as always for joining me. If you want more Ganesha-like classes, you can check this one out here. Also, if you are keen to practice with me further and start building a holistic toolkit, not only filled with tools, but also teachings, then get my yoga reset guide down in the description here. I'll meet you back here as always on the mat to keep practicing yoga holistically together.